We talk about Sonic a lot on this channel, but how often do I bring up his best friend and most reliable partner, Miles Tails Per Hour? Yeah, that's a pun. Miles Per Hour. <laughs> anyway, Tails is a character that has gone through miles of character development and had all that retracted in one line. Sonic, help me! Come on now, doll. Okay, so let's try and dig for the humble beginnings of our favorite two-tailed fox, how he met Sonic, and what he was doing before their fateful encounter. I'm the Mentok, the Prophet, YouTube Savior, and without further ado, let's head back in time. Miles Tails Per Hour first debuted in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Master System in October 1992, which theoretically could serve as a prequel for Sonic 2 for the Genesis, but let's leave the timeline out of this. In this version of Sonic 2, Tails is being chased by Dr. Eggman and is ultimately kidnapped, which sets the stage of Sonic's adventure to collect the Chaos Emeralds and rescue Tails. Sonic gets through the entire game and Tails is saved, solidifying their friendship forever. Unless you don't collect all the Chaos Emeralds and you get this bad ending, where it looks like Tails is actually killed off. Even though Tails is alive here, uh, it doesn't change the fact that Tails dies in Sonic Forces. Dark plots aside, this is one rendition of a very similar story. In Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Genesis, the manual states that after the events of his last adventure, Sonic moves along to a location called Westside Island, using his plane, the Tornado. Once Sonic arrives, he's followed by a shy, curious fox cub who would avoid interactions with him whenever Sonic spotted him lurking in the shadows. Tails was the subject of bullying due to his two tails. And I decided to try and figure out who exactly these bullies were so we can cancel them on Twitter. And while I can't find their names and social security numbers to dox them on the internet, we're gonna have to dig a little deeper to figure out where Tails is actually from. So let's table the Sonic 2 plotline for a little bit and go further down this rabbit hole. While you would assume he's a resident of Westside Island, where he initially meets Sonic, a game known as Tails Adventure, released for the Game Gear in 1995, gives us a look at Tails' life before his encounter with Sonic. The Japanese version of the manual cites that the game is a prequel to Sonic 2 and takes place on a tiny paradise known as Coco Island. Until further stated, we can assume this is where Tails was born and lived until migrating to Westside Island. So in this game, Tails is relaxing in his research lab known as Tails' house until a giant explosion and hellfire wake him up. Yeah, just imagine just being woken up to that. This random invasion is by the Imperial Battle Cuckoo Army, who decided to go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and take control of the island, led by Great Battle Cuckoo the 15th, who is going after the Chaos Emeralds. Make sense? Anyway, Tails defeats Cuckoo the 15th, who looks a lot like Jet the Hawk, by the way. I don't want your pity, nor do I need it. Maybe they're related. And after all of that, Tails heads home to finish building his cat, fox, robot. I mean, how can anyone bully this dude? He's so wholesome. Okay, so we fast forward back to Sonic 2, and after spending his time trying to catch up to Sonic speeds, Tails learns to use his tails to propel himself to keep up with the blue blur. So this feat alone has Sonic warm up to him a little in the process, and Tails even works on the tornado, showing his intellect in machinery and robotics. During this moment, Eggman arrives Get on the island in this. search of the Chaos Get Emeralds, and this iconic duo sets out on their first journey together. And the rest is history. So surprisingly, this version of events is the most consistent backstory used for Tails to this day. There's a brief moment in Sonic Adventure where Tails reminisces on the time where he attempts to catch up to Sonic's amazing speed. It's in this game where he learns to be more independent of Sonic and bring his own skills and intellect to the forefront to be a hero himself. You fool. Away, before I make mincemeat out of you. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this! <laughs> this spills over into Sonic Adventure 2, where he sees himself as the fox that needs to step up if Sonic is not around to save the day. Oh. perfect character arc for Tails, especially with the context of him growing up as a shy, bullied fox cub from Coco Island. And then, this happens in the latest game. Sonic, help me! Come on, man! And what about the other Sonic media? And let's start with an easy one, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. A cartoon from back in the 90s responsible for a meme that will never die. Fingers. 
It was a lighthearted take on the characters that often had Sonic and Tails making a mockery of Dr. Robotnik in every episode. But surprisingly, there's a small origin story for Tails here as well. Orphaned at a very young age with no relation to his family, Tails is found by Sonic after being thrown out of a bird's nest, falling right on top of Sonic's head. Tails mistakes Sonic for a bird during his interaction, and Sonic decides to extend a helping hand to him, raising him and becoming his best friend. So in a weird way, Sonic is kind of his foster father in this? What a twist! Similarly, in the Sonic the Hedgehog TV series, also known as Saddam, Miles is treated more as the younger brother figure. He's another survivor of Dr. Robotnik's hostile takeover of the planet Mobius, and is a part of the Freedom Fighters organized by the residents of Knothole Village. His involvement is less focused upon in this TV series, with Sonic's main partner in crime being Sally Acorn, ex-princess of Mobitropolis. Instead, Tails is described as much younger than the other fighters, and is left behind for many missions for this reason. It's heavily implied that Tails is going to have a larger role in this series as a full member of the Freedom Fighter team, but due to its early cancellation, we may never know what was going to become of our Fox Boy. Alright, so I've stalled enough. I guess it's time to talk about the comics. More specifically, the uh, Archie comic. If you're a longtime follower of this channel, you know I do everything in my power not to have to read this super long running comic series. Nothing against this series in general, it's just kind of like people who want to start watching One Piece right now. But seriously, go read that. So in the Sonic Archie comics, Tails' parents are actually named. He's the son of Amadeus and Rosemary Prower. The origin story begins on a very similar note to the Saddam TV series, where Dr. Robotnik begins his conquest of Mobius, and in the process, Tails is orphaned before truly knowing his parents. He's raised in Knothole and becomes friends with Sonic, having a much closer relationship as friends in the comic than in the TV show. So at some point, Tails is reunited with his parents, who, as it turns out, were not killed in Dr. Robotnik's takeover. They were saved by an alien race known as the Bem, and lived in space in the meantime? I mean, if you think that's wacky, Tails also gets a love interest called Fiona Fox, who turned out to be a robot made by Dr. Robotnik. Then it's revealed that that robot was based on a real Fiona Fox who's still a villain, and to make matters worse, Sonic dates Fiona, so Tails could get over his crush on this robot? I feel like that's just a big excuse on Sonic's part. But you guys see why it's difficult for me to cover this comic book series. Moving on to other wacky comic series, Sonic the Comic, also known as the Fleetway Sonic comics. So similarly to the games, Tails does meet Sonic in Emerald Hill Zone on West Side Island, but he's not from the planet Mobius. Oh boy, I need a drink. So Tails goes through a space warp to reach Emerald Hill Zone and stops there because he thought that Emerald Hill Zone was actually made of emeralds. So in this one greedy gesture, he meets his BFF Sonic and decides to stay on that planet. And I'm super hesitant to call them friends because Sonic is an absolute jerk to Tails in this comic. I have no idea why Tails would stick around for this level of abuse. This is not the Sonic you know and love. I mean, any opportunity Sonic gets to berate Tails or make a joke at his expense, he will do so. I mean, look at this panel. Tails is expressing concern that Sonic is rushing into a trap, only for Sonic to say that if he dies in the process, this is how he'll remember Tails, as a little two-tailed dimwit who's always whining. Holy shit, this is a toxic friendship. Sensational. <laughs> anyway, as this comic goes on, Tails becomes a more prominent hero understanding his worth and returning to his home in whatever space-time pocket he's from. Known as the Nameless Zone, he is celebrated as a hero based on letters he'd sent back to his home, depicting himself as the one saving the day most of the time, rather than Sonic. Yeah, take that, you asshole. And while Chales tries to take responsibility and correct this case of mistaken identity, it's too late, forcing him to constantly defend his home from time to time in an enchanted suit of armor equipped with a sword. I kind of like this depiction because it's so different from anything I've read about Tails before, but this comic is known for not being afraid to break boundaries. Last but not least, we have Sonic X, the anime from 2003, and personally, my favorite Sonic anime series up to this point. Sonic X does stick to the original origin of Tails that's depicted in the games. In fact, a lot of Sonic X rolls with the assumption that these characters are mostly as they are in the games up to that point, which would have been Sonic Adventure 2. Tails takes the role of Sonic's closest friend, but he's mostly independent in the series, 
normally using his intellect to solve problems in ways that Sonic can't. The series takes a major switch up in its final season, pitting Sonic and his friends against an evil known as Metarex, taking their fight into outer space as they assist a girl named Cosmo to save the galaxy. And while Sonic performs his usual heroics, the show majorly focuses on Tails and his growing romantic relationship with Cosmo. In the season finale, this relationship boils over into the final fight where Tails is forced to shoot Cosmo while she uses her abilities to fuse herself with the enemy. This final shot, with the help of Super Sonic and Super Shadow, is a sacrifice that they needed to save the galaxy, while Tails can only mourn the loss of Cosmo. And many fans of Sonic X view this season positively, because not only does it give a more mature outlook on the cast of characters, it gives Tails a major character arc that isn't overdone and expands on his growth as a hero independent of Sonic. And after all of that, we get this in the most recent game. Sonic, help me! Anyway, my children, that is the true origins of Miles Tails Per Hour. Please show your boy some love with a like or comment on which character origin you'd like to see next. And if you really want my eternal love and support, give me a follow at twitch.tv slash thementalk. You won't regret watching a stream or two, I promise. As always, my children, be safe. The Prophet has spoken.